All right, first things first, thank you guys so much for 44,000 subscribers here on YouTube. We ran out of ink in the green marker, so we're switching it up to the pink one. Thank you guys so much for helping me grow the channel. I appreciate your love and support. In this video, we're going back to Kyle's, we're going sight fishing, and we're gonna catch a tank on a swim bait. Haha, <laughs> he's on the way. Somebody's gonna be coming down here. That sucks, what happened? He got it. Oh, he had it. Got him. Look at her, right there on a the bed. She's gonna eat. Got her. Woo. Hello and welcome, what's up everybody? Kicking this one off from down here by the water. Been trying to give you guys a little bit of variety with the intros lately, so this one's no different. We're starting this one from down here at the boat ramp. Me and Junebug here, getting ready to hit the water. We don't really know what we're doing though. We're just gonna go out there, try to have some fun, catch some fish. As you can see, got about 87 rods on deck this morning, boys. So uh, yeah, not really all too sure what the fish are up to. It's calm, about 64 degrees outside. The water's probably hovering around 70 degrees or so. And we're gonna go try to get on a good, fun springtime bike. Got some square bills, top water swim baits, and you know, jigs and swim jigs and whatever else. Also, I don't know how well you guys can see over here behind me, we got a floater. Somebody's lost their little dock thing. But anyways, I'm gonna go get the boat dumped in the water and uh, quit jacket lacking around up here on dry land. See if me and Junebug can go find a fish today. Let's go. The only thing about like, you know, trying to film yourself and dump the boat in is that you have to film yourself and dump the boat in at the same time. So, you know, it kind of like throws everything all out of whack if you're not used to, you know doing that plus my mirrors are all fogged up I can't see anything so hopefully I hit the boat ramp as you can see we managed to get launched without doing any damage what is going on with this carp right here look at him he's like broken or something that sucks what happened I don't know if he got hit by a boat That's fish is like I thought at first thought he was tangled up in line but I don't see anything wrapped around him he's just uh having a hard time swimming whoa it looks like he just straightened out all of a sudden that was weird that fish was doing some crazy stuff man something wrong with that one Gonna be. Let's get the bleeping and blorping. See if anybody wants to blorp. Bloop. Bleepity bloop. First one of the day, and it comes on that new. Chatterbait Mini Max with the Kakamami Kamikaze the, the, with the Kamikaze swim on. <laughs> All right. Numero uno up shallow on the Chatterbait. Sitting over here on one of these trees. He came up and slurped the little freaking. Oh, there's a bed right there. He might have been guarding a bed. Let's see if he comes right back. Big shad, big old gizzard up in the cut. Look at these big gizzard shad coming out of the, the back of the cove here. That's the third one I saw come by. That was the biggest of the three too. So you see how big that was? Look, here's another one. See how big these gizzard shad are, guys? Look at that. That fish is probably, I mean, a pound and a half, two pound gizzard shad. That just shows you the kind of forage, these really big bass that are in this lake even though there are a bunch of small ones there are huge ones too those are the kind of meals that those big big ones are eating and that's why i got that big nine inch draw swim bait on deck so let's keep working let's see if we can put another one in the boat man first fish ever on the chatterbait mini max with the cockamamie swim on that thing looks good in the water too not gonna not gonna not gonna not gonna lie about it man 
freaking cockamamie swim on looks pretty freaking good i'd like to get on a little stretch that had some fish it seems like i've been having to move around a lot down here at this part of the lake you know when i'm mid lake i'm mid lake right now i've been having to kind of bebop around you know to put a bite together you know I'll catch them on this catch them on that I have to go over here and over there and throw this throw that i haven't like it seems like i haven't got on a, a run where i can just throw one bait in one area and catch you know a little water fish kind of like i can when i go find some dirtier water so let's find some fish dude i mean dang why do i gotta talk i don't want to talk i want to freaking set the hook and rip. maybe there's one in the back of this pocket the chatter giblet come on here and gone boy Chatter cricket, salad shooter, and we're gone. <laughs> crappie on a chatter cricket it's a nice crappie too is that a black one black crappie white crappie i don't know whatever i'm not a crappie guide despite what i claim on the internet that's a white crappie <laughs> shit i don't know number two on the day wrong flavor felt like he hit it kind of funny he looks like a taco to me slow rolling the jiggle cricket a crappie on it it's that little chatterbait mini max spot remover half ounce the little kamikaze swim on that we rigged up in our recent tackle video two fish on it that's the right kind number three on the day, little chatterbait hit a in the empty slips, man. Not getting bit by the boats, just up in the empty ones. Granted, only caught a crappie in a that little guy, but school and running bait up to the surface right here. Definitely flush weather out in front of the boat. Let's see if I can get out of there to him. Oh, he just missed it. Just had one come up and bust it, but he missed it. It as soon as it hit the water and took me down into the cables and broke me off. That was a monster. That was a monster. Couldn't even move it. Couldn't even move that fish. Look at him. Oh, he just spit it. I just saw the fish come up and spit my jackhammer, my chatterbait. I just watched that fish come up and spit my freaking chatterbait mini maxter down to the bottom of the lake. He's just swam over there, so that makes me feel good that he don't got the, the jack hamster in his mouth forever. But it does not make me feel good that I just missed that fish. And I just lost 36.50 to the bottom of the lake. Luckily those uh, Chatterbait Mini Max is not quite as expensive as the old jack hamster, but dang, still, that sucks. I don't think I have another one of those on the boat. My insurance guy just texted me. Shout out to Kevin. Thanks Kev for the support. I appreciate you, dog. You just made it in the video, kinda. I'm fishing. I just got broke off. Then you text me while I'm retime, bro. God dang, Kev. My man, good people. Best insurance agent in the game. All right, I got me another chatter cricket. Haha, <laughs> he's on the way. Somebody's gonna be coming down here. fish just sitting right there crystal clear water four inches deep oh look at him chasing that other bass off he's trying to eat another little baby bass 
chasing bluegill something. Yeah, there's two fish right here. They are bedded up and chasing. I think these fish are locked in on a bed. And we can bed fish with the croob. Got that croobster right here. These fish do not care that I'm here. Oh yeah, that fish is hot. Darted right down at it. Cool. Haven't got to do much sight fishing out here on the home lake recently. Here we go. He's staring at it though. He got it. Oh, he had it. I missed him. Yeah, he ate on the second cast. Fish is hot. He's gonna eat again too. Wish you guys could see what I see. It's pretty cool. I love sight fishing, man. It's too much fun. Boy. see how long it takes just for science in the name of fish science see how long it takes even though we just caught him hooked him in the face he's back on the bed it took eight seconds he's already back i could catch this fish again guys i could catch that fish again easily we're not gonna because that's not what you do but that was cool Side fish just one up shallow. We can go side fishing for the rest of the day if y'all are into that. Because I love it. I love it. Big or small, got to catch them all. If I can see them up shallow, I'm throwing at them. The crub, crubupulus, crubopulus, crubular. Getting tubular with the crubular. Need another one. giant giant right here on a bed with a male all right i just gotta figure out how to get the boat out of here it's gonna be a trick push pole Key. back on over that way please now this sucks but i gotta use the trolling motor That's a tank, dudes. She's still right here by the boat. Look at her. Right there on a bed. I don't know if she's catchable with the boat right here. I mean, I know she's not. I need to get out of here. Get back. Let her set up. This is the kind of fish you just hang out. Man, I came around this corner and thought, man, I better squeeze up in between these two docks just in case. A big one has moved up into the into that pocket where she feels protected and sure enough boom all right now i can see the fish oh my that's the male there's the female oh my god dudes all right dudes we're just gonna sit right here she's circling out there there she is i can see her she's big dudes big black betty right there that's a freaking tank even the male is big even the male is a good dang fish and she keeps going right back over there to the bed too my gosh just watched her flare on something down there the wind's gonna make it dang near impossible to fish for I'm trying to keep my boat off of this metal over here the windier it gets the tougher it gets I have to turn my trolling motor up the more this fish is going to be disturbed and not eat she's already really finicky really big really smart there's a reason this fish is this big look at her chasing that bluegill she does not like that bluegill I throw a little bluegill swim bait in there at her. She's right over there with the male, right on the other side of this tree. I keep
keep having to run back here. And push my boat off of this thing. But this kind of fish is worth it, dudes. She's back up there already. I'm gonna try throwing a jig over there. See if she'll hit this jig. So I cannot get this bass to hit a cross style bait. He won't do it. I keep watching this fish get so hot and chase away bluegill, like larger bluegill. So what I'm gonna do, something crazy. I'm gonna tie this Gillikin trace on. I'm gonna throw this trace over there. Cause I'm watching her just run blue off left and right. That was close. I had one of the males follow it all the way to the boat. Well, that didn't work. I thought it might, but it didn't. Try the glide. See if she'll come unglued on the glide. Really, if I'm being serious, we probably ain't gonna get her. Look at her there, she is messing with me. I know I spent five days trying to catch a monster bedfish before it didn't work out. Switching up to a bluegill color. She flared on the white flush just then. This fish is gonna eat. And she's a good fish. She's not quite as big as I thought she was. And she's over here just murking bluegill. They're getting in her bed. So I'm gonna let this bluegill colored flush sink down over there and see if she'll take a shot at it. Look at her over there chasing those bluegill up shallow gonna be all about just to, having it in front of her at the right moment she's gonna she's gonna go go where's my low come on gonna eat she's getting mad she had it she had it bro there it was she ate now I figured it out I had to switch over to the flush on the t-rig and I had to pop it but she ate right there boys it's all about popping that flush into her bed oh, I jerked it away from her bro she was on it she was about to eat that dang thing She's so mad at this freaking thing. She's hot now. We're gonna catch her. She's going for it every time. Your nose down on it right there going for it every time now dude it's only a matter of time she's getting so mad she's going for it again got her yes <laughs> she's not as big as i thought she was but it is a good fish nicest one of the day took me a while to get her but we got her not nearly as big as I thought it was, but hey, feels good to get that fish after putting in a little bit of time and work. You guys saw what I had to do, man. I had to cycle through baits and even cycle through not only baits, but different riggings of the same bait. I could not get this fish to hit the weightless flush, but as soon as I TR'd it and started popping it down there on the bed, that was when this fish started getting really mad and I knew for sure I was going to be able to catch her. Awesome. We're going to let her go right back down to the bed immediately. 
it's not as big of a fish as I thought it was. You guys still learning how to judge these things from up top, but there is a bigger one swimming around down there. Maybe we can get her too, but hey, that's fun right there, man. Good times, put in effort, two bed fish on the day. Johnny Five is alive. Let's go ahead and let this fish go right back down to the bed. Not as big as I thought it was, but hey, still a dragon. But hey, that was cool, man, to sit there and spend some time, have to figure it out, try to break it down, and uh, get that fish to eat, you know? That was cool. That was fun. I think there might have been a bigger fish down there at first when I got here, man. I think that might have been the male. And I just kind of spent so much time here and have to run back and forth so much trying to catch the boat. I don't know, man. That might have been the male either way. One of the nicest fish I've seen today. And now we're going to go ahead and... That, that one didn't sound good. Let's go ahead and go back here. Let's see if we can keep from doing that again. All right. Let's go see if we can find another one. There's a little look at the ground. You guys can see the detail on the hummingbird. There's a couple fish right there. Some more stuff. Some rocks. Some boulders. A little creek channel. A little drain arm. Whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Screen's a little dirty. Could use that jungle cloth right about now. I think I left it at the house, but anyways, you guys see what's going on down there on the bottom. Some fish over there. There's a dock cable, the cable that's holding this marina in. That's the cable right there. A bunch of other cables. Big concrete blocks. Pretty cool, man. A lot of stuff going on down there on the bottom. There's a fish, probably a carp. good times let's go see if we can find some more all right dudes it's clear it's hot it's calm it's midday so i'm gonna throw swim bait why not man ripped up here this bluff wall got that gillikin tied on these bass are definitely hot on these bluegill so let's go see if we can make one mad with the gillikins the mcgillicuddies let's go turning and burning On the trace smoked it too tank on the trace dudes swim bait coming through this is a tank oh it's a what is it dang it's a freaking tank come on this fish is fired up is it a tank or is it just a freaking fired up fish dude gotta get my boat out of the rocks oh he's barely hooked can i flip him Ugh. tank on the trace and we got them flipped boys that's definitely the biggest fish on the day right there Whew. nice let me get the boat out away from the rocks of course we got company as soon as i catch a fish that's okay that's a tank right there the freaking trace hanging off of his face i've been wanting to get one on this color for a while man i love this gillikin trace color and i never caught a fish on it before man Shout outs to Ben Milliken, that's the homie. Shout outs to that Trace to get me the nicest fish on the day. Should have known. Swim bait hitter. I'll throw him on the gram real quick. You guys follow me on Instagram. Just awesome, man. Beautiful fish. Came up and smoked the freaking Trace. Just awesome. I love it. That's the way to get it done right there man it doesn't get much more fun than that barely hooked watch this bloop i mean that that fish was barely hooked i can't believe i boat flipped it can't believe it stayed on that was awesome let's get a release shot on this fish one last look at that beautiful creature
All right, well, here are me and Junebug back at the boat ramp. I got the trailer sitting in the water right now. We're about to throw this thing back up on it. But uh, yeah, I thought I'd kick the camera on while we're here, show you guys some of this beautiful crystal clear water we got. There's some bait fish kicking around up shallow. I saw a, uh, it's a big school of bait right there. I don't know how well you guys can see that. And there's some fish down there right in the center. Actually, looks like a little bass bedded up down there. Not the best day of fishing. We ended with six. Best fish on the day was the last one there on the swim bait. That was fun. Sort of made up for uh, the day being such a grind, but I had fun out there. Nonetheless, you know, any day out there spent on the water is a good one in my book. Six fish had to bounce around a little bit, fishing clear water. We got us some bed fish. We got us some swim bay fish. A little bit of a variety in this one, even though it wasn't lights out lightning. Hey, that's the way she goes, boys. Typically, that's the way she goes, man. Most of the time, you don't go out there and just have a beat down, you know? But uh, shout out to the freaking power pole. Once you start launching and loading with these things, it makes it so much easier. Once you don't have them, you're like, man, I'm spoiled. I need these things. So yeah, I love my power poles. Uh, generally, this is how I do it. I'll just pull down right here by the dock. Man, that bass is still just sitting over here in this circle. I think that might be a bed. I'm gonna try to put the camera down. I'm gonna toss the crew at that fish. See if I can catch them really quick before I idle back over there to the trailer. No go on the bed fish. Had a couple people behind me waiting to get in, so I had to go ahead and get out of their way. But as you can see, me and Junebug back up here on dry land. We got OGs back there on the sailboat behind me. Man, I'm headed back to the house, man. We'll finish this video back up around the crib. Get everything wrapped up here. A lot of work goes on. You guys don't often see. You gotta do all the things every time you get out of the water. Drain the lower unit, get the steering stops put on, get you trained some saver, do all the things. All right, dudes, here we are back in the garage. And speaking of the garage, can somebody explain to me why it is that it takes two days minimum to clean the garage, about two hours flat to completely wreck this sucker? I'm telling you guys, I just chased my tail trying to keep things organized in here. I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the baits we caught them on, the setups we used to throw those baits, and I'll show you guys how I'm rigging the soft plastic crew that I was throwing to catch that bed fish. Yeah, we'll just go over some baits, do a little tackle rigging here in the garage to wrap this video up. All right, first up, the bait that I started catching them on today, I got broke off and lost it. So, I'm not sure if I have another one. Let's check the tackle wall real quick. I do, I have one left. It was this guy right here, Chatterbait Mini Max, spot remover, half ounce. Got broke off by a tank under the marina. And I saw the fish come up and bam, thrash and spit the Chatterbait out and it fell to the bottom of the lake. So here I am on my last one, but we need a trailer for that bad boy. And this is the trailer that I was running out there today. It's that Big Bite Baits Kamikaze Swim On. This is the 3.75 size. It's perfect for the Chatterbait Mini Max. A shout out to everybody here on the channel that dropped the knowledge on me for this little combination right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and get another one rigged up and tie it on the Chatterbait rig because it was working for me today. Here we go. <music> Chatterbait Mini Max with the Big Bite Baits Kamikaze Swim On. Smoky Gold is the name of that color, and it looks pretty good in the water, I'm not gonna lie. So I'll get this bait tied on really quickly, and then I'll tell you about the setup that I was using to throw it. It is already so hot out here in this freaking garage. I can tell you it's gonna be a brutal summer out here. I'm trying to shoot these videos in front of this tackle wall. There we go, we got our Mini Max Chatterbait with the Swim On rigged back up. And here's a little bit about the setup I'm using. Shimano Corrado 200, that's my favorite reel for throwing a chatterbait. I don't know why it just is. It's got a lot of line capacity so I can retie often. Very smooth casting, incredible reel. Corrado 200, can't go wrong. It's a straight workhorse. You can do everything from swim baits to finesse with this reel. I absolutely love it. And I have that reel paired up with my Heater Series 7.2 Medium Heavy Mod Fast Signature Series Rod from Sixth Sense. And that is my chatterbait setup, and that is what I was using to bust those chatterbait bass out there today. Next up, I'll show you the uh, little crew rig. Throwing it right now on the seven foot four inch medium heavy mod fast heater series. I like a little bit of a stiffer rod for the T-rig so that when I reel down and load up on that hook set, if they're down there deep, I can still get them. And this is my little T-rig throwing the, the, the crew, the crew tube, man. I'm gonna show you this bait. 
the new Krub 3.0 from Sixth Sense. Craw tube, the Krub, the Craw tube. It's a tube, it's a craw. I'm throwing it on a little 3 yacht EWG. That's a quarter ounce pitch black tungsten bullet weight. I got it pegged. And this is this is how I'm doing it. The, the hook is a little, you know, it, it's, it's right there on the verge of being too big of a hook, but it's not. Going through that tail section, tail section reinforced on the Krub. A little bit extra plastisol in that section. Help keep from burning through your baits. Just going right behind the eyes with the hook point on that three aught, and boom, that is how I'm fishing this thing. And they are straight chewing it up. Flip that sucker into that bed and got it. And then I switched up to the flush later on the same setup. You can fish a multitude of baits on this little setup right here. And that right there is what was getting it done for me out there with the finesse creature bait. Love that goby color on that crew too. This is the setup for the Trace swim bait. Sensory Series 7.7 Heavy, Shimano Corrado 150 DC 7.4 to 1, 17 to 20 pound fluorocarbon line, and that's that Gillikin Fast Sync Trace that we got in a recent unboxing video. Love this rod for throwing the trace. And I can't think of a better way to end it down the water than with a trace tank. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. If you're interested in any of those rods that I just showed you or any of the Sixth Sense base that you see me out there on the water using, check out SixthSenseFishing.com and use my code JR10 at checkout. That's gonna save you 10% off your entire order. It's also gonna go toward helping us keep the lights on and the cameras rolling so that we can continue to bring you free fishing content here on YouTube. So a massive shout out and thank you to everyone who uses that JR10 code. If you do, make sure you get me a screenshot of your order confirmation so that I can give you a shout out on my Instagram. Everyone who uses the JR10 code gets a shout out on the gram. Just send me a screenshot of that order confirmation and I will post it up, tag your account. Like I said, it's just a way for me to say thank you and give you some public recognition for helping us keep this whole thing rolling. Shout outs to the JR10 Army and shout outs to the Heater Army, which continues to grow with every video. I appreciate you guys so much. Without the JR10 Army, without the Heater Army, none of this goes down and there is no free fishing content. So shout outs to all of you amazing people out there who are supporting and riding with this movement. I can never thank you enough. You are seriously making a massive impact on the way things are gonna go down here in the future. And there's so much exciting stuff coming our way. Can't wait to bring you all along for the ride. But that's about all I got for you today. That about does it. That about wraps her on up. So I'm going to say goodbye for now, but I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Yeah.